often hear about Floridians who have close encounters with bears, coyotes, mm -hmm. alligators, four, a four diamond back rattlesnake though. Oh, that's too much. That's what a nine year old came across in his grandmother's backyard. As West 2's Michelle Meredith reports, this story has a happy ending even for the snake. The size of the four foot rattlesnake is impressive enough. The fact it's one of the most venomous in the world takes the fear factor up a notch or two. The snake was back there. And to know nine year old Angelo Owens found the diamond back in his grandmother's backyard, well. Scary? It had me shaking a little bit. It's one of the most deadliest snakes in the world. Deadliest? Something to think about. <laughs> it all started Wednesday. Angelo was hanging out at his grandmother's house in Longwood, and he spots something on the side in the corner. I thought it was a stuffed animal. A stuffed animal? Yes. When he realizes it's a snake, Angelo tells his family they thought it was your classic garden variety snake until they saw and heard it. It was just a real loud shh and you could hear it maybe two or three houses away. I mean, it was loud. Enter Bob Cross, Central Florida's renowned critter catcher. He wrangled that snake right up. Now the family says they know about animals in Florida. They've seen coyotes, foxes, even bears. In fact, one time a bear got in the garage, yanked out the freezer, did not eat the meat but ate her granddaughter's ice cream birthday cake. But a rattlesnake? Grandma says in terms of patience, that's where she puts her foot down. Fortunately, Angelo did not put his foot down in the wrong place. He's a lucky boy. Uh, had he not been wise enough to go get mom, if he'd have gone over and tried to play, you know, boys being boys, if he'd have gone over and tried to play with it or pick it up or get near it and it bit him, uh, it'd be a different story today. The snake story ends with a trip to its new forever home, a reptile center that will collect its venom to make anti-venom to save a life when another close encounter with a rattlesnake has a completely different ending. In Seminole County, Michelle Meredith, West 2 News. Okay, I was ready for that video to end. Okay, the family says they called FWC for help, but the officers who came out said they're not able to deal with venomous snakes and gave them a list of people who could.